Good morning, everyone. Um, it is Thursday, January 9th. Yesterday was my birthday, and I just want to say thank you to so many people who stopped and showed me some love and said happy birthday. Um, it was an interesting day. I actually went and saw my biological father, who I just met in September. So it was like the first time we got to, you know, be together on my birthday. Um, but yeah, uh, I got these yesterday, and I really wanted to unbox them, but I just didn't have time. So um, here we are with Boxy Charm. This is January 20th. 20 i do get the base box and the premium and the lux so every month is base and premium and every three months yeah four times a year so every like a seasonal box <clears throat> excuse me is the boxy lux so we are going to get right into this i actually did not redo my nails and look it's already starting to peel which is really not uncommon depending i mean doesn't matter which which brand i use i just um, between typing and just everything else that i do here painting unboxing all that type of stuff i look i chip my damn nails off it's not the company's fault i'm hard on my nails so this is the base box um i have seen some spoilers so i do kind of know what to expect i think that's good and bad because i like building up the excitement but then also i kind of get disappointed when there's something that i wanted that i didn't get so uh, with boxy charm you always got to take the good with the bad i see a lot of people constantly complaining it's like if you go in and redo your little beauty quiz on their site um that may help or you know like cancel the damn subscription box if it's that big of a deal. Like I see people going all out. I may every once in a while be like, oh, I wish I would have got, you know, this instead of that. But this is a great value and I'm certainly not going to go on there and complain. Um, this is the base box. It says breaking the ice. Okay, I'll set this to the side. So yeah, this is the box that I see. And actually it's the exact same variation that I saw. I was not too honestly was not too thrilled with this variation um but i am excited about a couple of the products um this is the skin and co roma face face gamage is that what it is called i have no idea what that is <laughs> micro exfoliating um i may or may not keep this try this i have tons of skincare so i might just put this in a giveaway um i think i will try this only because um let's see the skin and co says this is $28 for this big ass bottle. Okay, now the Avante skincare, it is $107. Is this the size? It's a look at the difference. This one's $28. This one's $107. So I am gonna try this just because I need to know what the hype is about. And I don't really think it's probably worth $107. Even I, I don't know. Skincare is skincare, and some of it is it's expensive, but look, y'all, I would never pay $107 for this little tiny tiny thing. So, um, the um, Mana, or Mana, does it say Mana Kadar? Hold on. Yeah, Mana Kadar Beauty, um, the Lip Whip is $21. That's a pretty cute color. Um, you know, I don't know anything about this brand, so I don't know if I'll keep this or give it away, to be honest with you. I am excited to try the Pretty Vulgar, um, excuse me, oh, my nose is running now, great. Um, the Pretty Vulgar, uh, concealer, but... To be honest with you, I wonder if this is the lightest shade. Because if so, you guys, I mean, if you are really going for like a brightening effect, and excuse my dry skin, but this is pretty dark for me. Like, I think this would be good for uh, my blemishes because I use a darker concealer for my blemishes and a lighter concealer for brightening. So let's see, this pretty vulgar undercover concealer is $25. Um, I use my Maybelline um, concealer. It's really inexpensive for my blemishes. And I use the uh, Urban Decay, what's it called? Naked Skin? Yeah, I use that one for my under eyes. And I've been using that for years. I've never really, um, I, I like ColourPop. I like Jeffree Star. There's a few other ones I've tried, but I always go back to those two, that two combo Maybelline and Urban Decay Naked Skin. So I was really excited. This is Ace Beauty um, Scarlet Dusk Palette. To be honest with you, I would have to look at the two palettes online to see which one was which and which one I would actually prefer. I really don't know. I think this is very beautiful packaging. Um, it's lightweight, but it doesn't feel like cheap, but it is like a cardboard component. Um, oh, yeah, that's cute. Um, I think this is the one that I would prefer out of the two, to be honest with you. So I'm glad that I got this. But it's very, it's still kind of basic. It still has a lot of modern renaissance, a lot of uh, Morphe 350, a lot of, um, I don't know. I feel like you can find these colors anywhere. But I have not tried 
this brand's formula. So um, I do think I will keep this one and give it a go. Like I said, just because it's a, a, a new brand to me. Um, that Ace Beauty palette is $34.99. So that's pretty inexpensive. Um, would that have 12 pans? Yeah, 12 pans. That's, I mean, $34.99, but it, I don't know. Let's think about it though. How many color pops palettes do you have that are the size that have, you know, 10 or 12? So it really is just all in the quality of the eyeshadows and what you prefer. I really don't know the difference between this brand and ColourPop. So um, I don't know. I feel like it's probably give and take. It's it's with any brand and any product that people buy. It's like you either like it or you don't. You're either attracted to it or you're not. And you can either afford it or you can't. And Or you maybe you can afford it and it's just something you wouldn't pay that much for. And we all have to kind of make those decisions for ourselves. So um, would I buy that for $34.99? I probably would. Um, I haven't bought any Ace Beauty though. So then again, it, you know, I say that I would, but I haven't. So <laughs> maybe I wouldn't. Um, anyway, so this is the premium box the base box is 25 a month this one's 35 a month and this is only my second time um i believe getting the premium um it has worked out pretty well for me i would think probably the Lux is my favorite just because it's every few months and it is such a big box so this also of course it's the same breaking the ice but they have these products on here i'm really excited to see this because i actually have um one tula product I think it was, excuse me, I think it was like a sheet mask. mask. And um, I put a couple Tula skincare products in my Ulta list to check out. So this is a pro bi or yeah, probiotic skincare, keep it clear acne foam cleanser. So this is huge. Um, this Tula skincare, um, uh, let's see, it retails for $34. So it's a good, it's already right there. It's like you've almost paid for your box, which is this one product. I will be trying this because like I said, I am interested in this brand. I've seen, you know, it come out, um, or come in things recently. Um, not too excited about this. And this is the first time I've actually seen this and I didn't see anybody open up premium that got this. So it kind of worries me. Like, was this a throw in because you had nothing else because I've never heard of billion dollar brows. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe this is like the best thing ever and I just don't know anything about it. But I have very specific brow products and I really don't deviate much from them. This is supposed to be $42 for a pencil, a highlighter, a brush, and a gel. Oh, come on, y'all. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sold on this. Um, I'll do some more research, but I'm probably going to give that away. Like I said, I'm kind of, I have my ABH uh, number seven brow brush. I do use my Morphe brow powder palette. It's like a little palette that has like eight different shades. And then I also use uh, my Universal uh, It Cosmetics pencil, um, sometimes my ColourPop pencil, but I, yeah, I, I just can't see myself. $42? Anyways, okay, this is from Bliss. This is Pore Patrol Deep Detox for Clay Souffle Mask. I don't know if I'll keep this or not. I don't think I've ever tried any products from Bliss, though, so maybe I will. I just have so much skincare lately to you guys, and it's not a bad thing, but it's like it comes and goes. Like, sometimes I'll have so much skincare, I'll be like, you know, I don't need any more, and sometimes I'm excited about it, but... um. I don't really do Kat Von D anymore. Just don't support her brand. Um, this is a really pretty color. I do have Lolita um, lipstick, so I can't knock the color, but I just don't know if I will use it. Plus, it's pretty dark for me. So, yeah, that'll be going in a giveaway. Um, the Kat Von D retails for was that 18 $19. So, it's not a, a bad price point. I just don't want it. Um, Farsali Liquid Glass Radius Serum. serum radiance serum with hyaluronic acid um i will i may keep this i do like for Sally. i do like i do have a few of their products i've not really heard much about this make skin serum hmm so i guess it's just a skincare product yeah okay um i have to decide on this one again i just have so much skincare you can't go through that much damn skincare and then last i believe I don't think there's anything else in here. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Um, is the Palm Springs Dreams. And I'm pretty sure that the other one was the, the peach one. And that's the one I wanted. And I don't know about you guys, but I haven't been getting my emails to customize. Like they say, oh, you can pick a product. But yeah, like this is really, really pretty. But 
I don't know if I'll keep it or not. Um, I may. It has a few shades that look interesting, but I don't really gravitate to Too Faced, but I do like a lot of their palettes, like the Chocolate Bar and stuff like that. So, But I haven't bought a Too Faced palette in so long. I think I will give this one a try, but I wanted the, let's see, let's, um, so the Bliss is 18, Cap on D is 19, Farsali is 54, and the Too Faced is 45. But like I said, I wanted the darn peach one. And they said that that was um, one of the choices, and I never got a choice, you guys. I never got the email. Now, I got it for my first premium box, but I didn't get it for this one. So that kind of upsets me if I could have chosen the other one, and then I just got this one because for whatever reason, my choose email didn't get generated, you know? So maybe I'll follow up with, with BoxyCharm and just ask, um, because I thought you were to get an email. But here recently, I saw on their site that it says, like, um, for February box, you can choose your item on the 13th of January. So it's like, do we have to go back to the website now instead of them sending us an email? So I'm kind of confused about that. So overall, I'm going to be honest with you. These two boxes do not excite me. Um, the last month, December, I was really happy with, um, both of my boxes. Um, I'm excited for this. And that's about it that I'm really excited about. Like, I like this and I'm probably going to keep this, you know, I might try this, but I'm not really like Tula's probably the only thing like I said I, I'm gonna keep the palette but I'm not like overly totally just like ah. I would have been much happier with the um what was it is that the is that a two fit yeah it's a two-faced palette as well the one that has the sweet is it sweet peach or anywho y'all know what I'm talking about I did not get um a choice email I did not get to choose I'm really upset about that because I believe you get to choose like a couple items in that box and at least one item in this box and I don't remember getting anything to choose for this one either but and really the only thing I'm super excited about um is this a Beauty palette? And I don't even need another damn eyeshadow palette. So I'm kind of excited to try the Pretty Vulgar um, concealer. But again, I don't really get excited about trying new concealers. Because every time I buy them and try them, I'm like, eh, I'll stick with the ones I use. Um, yeah, so this is my boxes. Um, let me know what you guys got or what you guys were happy with getting. And like I said, I'm really, this right here is, I'm kind of upset about this. Like this is not a $42 value to me. And... If I want to get some brows, I'm probably going to want some, like, um, Kelly ba Baker brows or some Anastasia Beverly Hills or um, something like that. I, billion dollar brows doesn't impress me. <laughs> Never heard of it. Not into it. Like I said, I may look it up and decide to try it just to review it for you guys. But I might just stick it in a giveaway. So, hope you guys enjoy this unboxing. Not too exciting for me. Not disappointed i'm not gonna cancel but i'm not overly happy a lot of this is going to be going in giveaways which is good for me and what i do and i can give things back to people but at the end of the day i would like to be excited and find a few products that i actually was wanting to get and for me i have no i didn't even see this this variation of box like i said i hadn't seen this product this product this product i had seen this one and this one and this one but so for me this is kind of like a whole disappointment um and for the base box like i said i did see a variation like this and my thought was please don't let me get that variation and that's what I got. So, um, this is my favorite subscription box. This is the only subscription box that I have continued. And I'm afraid to cancel because every time I think about canceling that next month, they come out with something that I would have died without. Of course, you know, I'm being dramatic. But, um, but that's just how I feel about BoxyCharm. I think that overall, they are really good. Every once in a while, though, this happens where I'm like, eh. I don't really feel like I wasted the money, but it's not really anything I'm too excited about. So uh, make sure you like this video and you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am going to be posting the YouTube or uh, the BoxyCharm unboxings only on YouTube from now on because it's just a lot of work to post to my stories or to post on Instagram. Um, and I'm trying to get like a little theme going on Instagram and um, unboxing videos don't do it for me. So make sure you subscribe here hit the notification bell so that you can see every time i upload um my boxy charm boxes thanks guys uh love you talk to you later and hope you enjoyed this unboxing